How are your hips feeling? If they're a little creaky, a little tight, a little stiff, let's go jump on the mat right now and loosen those babies up. Okay, we're gonna begin just sitting on a block actually because the main thing that I want you to do before we get into this practice physically or with our, our exercises and, and stretches is to actually just really arrive in the body. Go ahead and close your eyes. Rest your hands down by your side, either palms facing down or palms facing up if you're feeling that. Close your eyes, lift your shoulders up and then I want you to just take a breath in and kind of like let them relax. I want you to have a relaxed spine, so like kind of move it around a little bit, just so you can find the position that feels right for your body. We want to imagine that we're kind of balancing everything, we're stacking everything perfectly, not too arched, not stiff and straight, but just, but just neutral. Now with your eyes closed, you're actually switching on all the other senses. So when we take away one sense, which is called pratyahara, we're also increasing the sensitivity of the other senses. So your ears will be more sensitive to sound. You'll probably be able to taste better, possibly smell better. <laughs> and you'll feel a lot better too. You'll have better proprioceptive awareness better sensation. So right now, I just want you to notice the breath. In and out through the nose, if your nose isn't blocked. Noticing the sensation of the breath around the nostrils. Noticing the rib cage expand and compress. Noticing the quality of every inhalation, every exhalation. Inhalation, energizing. Exhalation, relaxing, grounding, calming. So just notice that big inhale, energizing you, lengthening you, creating expansiveness, and an exhalation, grounding you. Inhalation, expansive, opening, and the exhalation, calming and grounding. One more breath here, inhale, and exhale. And before we begin this hip opening practice, just bring the palms together at your heart center, gently bow the head, fingertips in between the eyebrows to the third eye center, taking a moment to just honor your body. Cultivating a sense of gratitude for this incredible machinery, bio machinery. Often at times it can feel like we're against our body or our body is against us, but every second of the day it is working hard to maintain homeostasis, to keep us alive so that we can get on with our lives. So just honoring that, which means we'll enter our mobility practice with a sense of gratefulness for the body, for our joints, sense of positivity, and this has been shown to actually improve our health markers. Okay, this is not just airy-fairy yoga stuff, not that yoga stuff is airy-fairy, but I know for a lot of you skeptics out there, we now have research to back this stuff up. All right, let's get on with it. So, remove the block from underneath you. We're gonna come into a 90-90 position with the legs. So I've got 90 degrees at my front leg, 90 degrees at my back. Now, if you're super tight in the hips, you may wanna keep that, that block underneath your hips like so, and you may want a second one even to lift you right up, okay? And that's gonna create a little bit more space so that when we come forward, again, you could also use the second block to just raise the floor so that you can come into a position like so, okay? And this is just gonna make it a lot easier on your hips to keep them neutral. Now, I urge you, like guys, I'm flexible. I can come into these positions really easily, but I can feel a stretch when I'm in this position with the blocks like so. So for anyone that's super advanced, and which I don't even know what that word really means anymore, but let's say that you have very, very open hips. I encourage you to pull back a fraction 
Because when we go into the active work, you're going to find that you can activate more when you're kind of backed out of it slightly. And then as we go through the next few reps, then you can go a little bit deeper. So I urge you to just back off even for the beginning part. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to really try to lengthen out of my hips. So I'm lengthening forward, okay? And I'm just going to hold here. And we're just in a nice passive stretch. Now, if you feel like you're really not feeling any sensation, then of course, bring your elbows down. But again, I just want you to notice what the pelvis is doing. If it's like rocking over to one side, if it's hiking up, you can probably see on that back camera, if it's hiking up, then we want to back out of it so that we can maintain a nice straight pelvis here. Okay. We're gonna take another deep breath in. And we're gonna see if we can go a little bit lower. Exhale. The breath is key here. Breath is a gateway to maintaining a calm nervous system. And we know that flexibility is more about the state of your nervous system how much trust your body has to be in these positions than it is about your tissue length. Okay, so that's a big misconception around stretching. Okay, so from here, what I want you to do is come back up to the fingertips, wherever you are in this position, and we're actually going to imagine someone's pushing on our back. And when we imagine that they're pushing on our back, we're trying to push back, okay? But at the same time, what I want you to do is push into the floor. So I'm pushing my knee and my foot into the floor, and I'm also imagining this person pushing me down, and I'm trying to resist that. So I'm gonna hold here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands down. Now I'm gonna try to lift this foot off the floor as though I'm lifting it towards my chest like so, okay? So I'm gonna lift for one, two, three, four, keep your back straight, five, six, I'm cheating, seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Now, passive stretch again. I'm gonna move the block out of the way this time and I'm gonna go really deep into the passive stretch. I'm gonna hold here again. Head down on a block or whatever, but just watch the hip. Yeah, try to keep it square, as square as it was in the beginning when you were in that previous variation, okay? Try to stay long as well here. Really lengthening out of the hip here. I'm imagining my heart pulling forward. Okay, I'm gonna take one more deep breath in. Really lengthen forward and out of the hip. And then I'm gonna keep my hands on the floor, but I'm gonna really push down, same thing, same thing. So I'm driving down, pushing for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Imagine someone pushing my back, three, two, one. Keep the hands down, I'm gonna pull. If you're up here, that's okay as well, yeah? But I'm gonna pull my foot off the floor. I'm gonna pull my knee towards my chest. See how my back rounded a little? Wanna avoid that. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, come back up. From here, I'm gonna shift my weight over to the side. I'm gonna bring this back knee and I'm gonna let it meet my right foot. I'm gonna take the hands behind me. I'm gonna lift my hips and tuck my tailbone. I'm gonna try and scratch off the protein powder that is on my pants that I didn't notice. All right, hands come behind. Lift the hips, tuck the tailbone. All righty, some of you are like, uh, excuse me, I can't do that. If you find that your foot is like this, I want you to try to tuck it. If this is too painful on your foot, you can fold up the mat. You may find that this is not appropriate for you, okay? You might wanna come higher. So I'm then gonna come all the way down to the floor because if it feels comfortable for me to do so. I can maintain a neutral spine, tailbone tucking, and I can keep my knee on the floor, okay? You need to back out of it if any of these things are popping off or if you have a big back bend here. All right, we're gonna take a deep breath in. Full breath out. And I'm gonna go ahead and maybe grab hold of this leg for a slightly deeper stretch, okay? So now we're getting a stretch for the quadricep on the left side. I'm gonna to start to open this out a little bit just to find the angle of the stretch for me. And this is just a passive hold, okay? So we're gonna hold here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good, release, and roll into your side. 
legs hug in, we're gonna rock up and come up to a seated position, okay? So next, I'm gonna do the other side. So I'll flip it over for you so that you can see. So I get this block ready. We come into that 90-90 position. <laughs> this side is so awkward because I have really terrible internal rotation on this right leg from an, a jiu-jitsu injury. Um, and I can feel it and it sucks and I'm glad we're working on it together, okay? So leaning forward, I'm gonna stay as upright as possible. I'm gonna use this block to lengthen out of my hips here. I'm just holding and breathing. Now we go easy to begin with. When we start off that passive hold, we're not trying to be like, ah, ah, stretching. We're trying to keep the mind calm, okay? If the mind, and when I say mind, I'm more referring to the nervous system, which includes both brain and obviously the periphery. But I'm trying to ensure that everything stays really calm so that my body is like, okay, all right, it's cool. We can go a little bit further. We can deepen this passive stretch. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, cool, all right. So it's the quality of your thoughts and your mindset that's gonna impact the level of your flexibility. What I want you to pay attention to, yes, we're in a passive stretch and yes, I'm talking a lot, but that's, I'm trying to distract you a little bit, okay? But what I want you to try and remember here is that at some points that flexibility fear, right, comes in waves. Like you may find that you come into it, you adapt, okay, the mechanoreceptors throughout your body that are picking up the sensation, that are picking up the changes in the length of tissue, they will adapt to the new stimulus, that new stimulus being a different length. And they will start to go, okay, we're cool here. As soon as you start to find deeper length through minor movements, they're gonna go, uh, uh, uh. Those action potentials will start firing through the brain, through the body going like, yeah, just stretch deeper, hang on. So you feel that wave. And this occurs throughout the entire passive stretch. That's okay, because we want the adaptation to occur. We have to be able to breathe through it. And this is where the breath comes in. Let's take one more deep breath in here. Full breath out. All righty, where are we at? You ready to take your hands off and push down into the floor? Mm, I'm gonna push down. I'm gonna imagine someone's pushing on my back for another five. Four, I'm really pushing, knee and foot. Three, two, one. Good, now I'm gonna try and lift off. Two, three, I'm lifting this foot towards my shoulder. Four, five, six, I should feel my deep inner thigh active. Nine, 10, beautiful. Now I'm gonna take this one off. You don't have to, but I am just know that I can go deeper. My body has adapted to that new length, so I'm gonna go down. And this whole process, we're in the second passive stretch, is just about earning our body's trust to be in these positions. Inhaling and exhaling. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face, relaxing the back of the neck. Big inhale, full exhale. Nice inhale, full exhale. Moving from side to side just to find the different angles. Like sometimes you'll find that if you thread that right arm through, ooh baby, we hit the jackpot on the hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, my new song, available on iTunes and uh, Spotify. So it's coming out. I hope you'll all have a listen and share it. And I hope it goes viral on TikTok. One deep breath in. Let's drive down. Drive into the floor for another five, four. I'm pushing my foot down, pushing my knee down. Three, two, one. Now I'm trying to pull up. Pull up, pull up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Everything off. Nine, ten. Exhale. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Come back up. Bring it in. Hands behind you, lift the hip, tuck the tailbone. Maybe you're gonna hang out here and this is gonna be enough for you or you're gonna go all the way down to the floor like so, okay? And this may be where you wanna stay, okay? Maybe you're gonna grab that leg and we're just gonna hang out here and we're just gonna breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. 
Inhale. And exhale. Two more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Alrighty, let yourself roll into your side, kick that leg out, hug the knees into the chest, let's rock all the way up. Okay, so now we wanna hit up the inner thigh and then we're done, okay? So it's just a quick session, feet together, knees out wide, so we're in a slightly different position. It's almost like we're coming into child's pose, but my hips are way, way, way in front of my, um, in front of my feet, so it kind of, it's more like that as opposed to this, right, where the knees are forward. So we're trying to go as wide as we possibly can with the legs. Now, for some of you, that's like, sorry, Shona, I'm, that's completely impossible. And if you feel a stretch in child's pose, then just go into a really wide-legged child's pose, okay? If you can take this position where you can sit your hips down in front of your feet, then we're gonna do that, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna bring the blocks down. I'm gonna start to try and get nice and comfortable in this position. And I'm gonna look deep into your eyes and make full eye contact in this awkward position. No, I'm not. What I'm gonna do is roll my hips back and forth. I'm rolling and tipping the hip forward. So the top of my hip bones, tipping forward, and then they're rolling back. So I'm just trying to create a little bit of delicious space and juiciness around the front of the hips. And then we're gonna finish with active stuff, okay? As always. So just rocking back and forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's a little bit thirsty, that's why I don't tend to put this one on, uh, on the gram skis, but on YouTube it's fine, <laughs> okay? Fully functional, really good for your lower back. Really, really good if you spend a lot of time at your desk. Great for runners. This area just gets a little bit kind of like clunky. So now I'm sort of rolling the pelvis in circular motions. Again, it looks like a Nicki Minaj film clip, okay? But we just want to maximize that. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Nicki Minaj, like I'm like showing my age. <laughs> I don't know who's new and cool anymore. Okay, rolling around. Okay, so come back up. Hands come forward, lean forward. Push back. Let's come into downward facing dog. Walk out through the heels, open up through the back of the legs, shake out your head yes and no. And then go ahead and walk the feet all the way up. Unroll all the way up to standing, pushing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. All I want you to do, stand at the top of your mat. We're taking a step back lunge, barefoot, drop back, drive up. And think about as you step up, you're stepping up through the glute. <sighs> So just making use of the hips, getting everything to switch back on. I do this for the, uh, the hypermobile crew, hello. Um, we can get a little bit funky if we just do stretching and don't do any sort of active work afterwards, but also it's really good to just build on that proprioceptive function, right? Understanding how to lunge is a very important human movement. If you're not moving as fast as me, that's okay. <sighs> Three more, two, and one. Perfect. And there's your hip mobility for today. Well done, guys. I promise if you do this every second day for the next two weeks, you're gonna write to me and you're gonna be like, Shona, my hips have improved so much. Let me know how you go. How is that? Remember that you have to do this consistently, guys. So please don't let this be the only time you do this video. You have to watch it over and over again and you have to take partner over and over again. And each time, try to keep track of your progress, take photos of you in the position so that you can kind of push a little bit deeper next time and see your progression over time. Two reasons for this. One, to make sure we're on the right track, but two, it's really motivating. And we cannot underestimate the power of motivation, motivation by achieving results to help us take care of our body. Like we need to feel like we're putting our time into something that's actually beneficial, right? So don't underestimate that. If you take photos, if you see any progression, let me know in the comments below or tag me on Instagram and let me know how it went for you. I am super excited to see you guys progress here. Also know that I have a mobility program that addresses all of this, but also other body parts and is a consistent progressive 
program, check it out. It's linked below, but otherwise just keep doing this. All right, see you on the mat soon.